What's up, everybody? It's Bishop. I'm back. Back on my channel here again. Finally get a chance to talk about some Second Amendment stuff here. Uh, <laughs> this is a pretty good one here. I uh, I had to watch this. First, just so I can get a, a feel of this video here from this, uh, this beta well, who knows nothing about the Second Amendment, knows nothing about AR-15s. And you will see this as Caitlin Bennett here from Liberty Hangout, she asked him some pretty simple questions. And what he does is just in general, like a lot of uninformed anti-gun leftists, the same thing they do over and over and over again is just basically spit out talking points that they hear on either CNN, MSNBS, any network news, all state media. You know what I'm talking about, okay? This dude right here, definitely fits into that category because he literally knows nothing. And everything he talks about is all in talking points. So as you see, uh, you'll just have to see this and pretty much you can shake your head and go, yeah, he doesn't know anything. So which branch of the military uses AR-15s? I didn't say that the, that the branch of the military used AR-15s. I said they were weapons of war. Okay. What war did we use them in? Again, they're just weapons of war. Here we go. You know how this is going to go here with this. Have you guys been following the Democrats with the Democratic debate? Mm -hmm. Kamala Harris? Uh, I think she's I think she's uh, she's got a, a bright future. Okay. Uh, I'd like to have her realistically. I'd like to see some real some real concrete answers out of her. Okay. Uh, I haven't, haven't heard anything concrete, but I think she has a bright future. So something that is concrete is that she would like to ban AR-15s mm -hmm. with the use of an executive action. Mm -hmm. If Congress didn't pass any type of gun control to do so mm -hmm. within the first 100 days of her taking office, mm -hmm. is that something you would support? Yeah, absolutely. I'd support that. Why? Uh, because those are weapons of war, and unless we're over trying to overthrow our government, we don't need them. Okay. Foolishness point number one. Um, First of all, talking point, weapons of war. Every uninformed liberal will tell you that, and every uninformed gun grabber will tell you other weapons of war. An AR-15 is not a weapon of war, people. Okay. Let's continue. So which branch of the military uses AR-15s? I didn't say that the, the, the branch of the military used AR-15s. I said they were weapons of war. Okay. What war did we use them in? Again, they're just weapons of war. So what is a weapon of war? What do you what do you put in that category? How do you name that category? Well, you know, any kind of weapon that you can use that you don't need to ex specifically, realistically reload every every six rounds. Uh okay, this is just pure foolishness. He's sitting here just basically talking out of his ass. He has no idea what the hell he's talking about here, at all. Something that you can do mass destruction with, um, that you know, honestly, like uh, like an AR-15, where you can do mass damage in schools and mass damage to people in, in any other kind of war. Can you not do that with, let's say, a handgun, a Glock, a 1911? You can do any kind of damage with with, with six rounds. That's why you only need six rounds. Why do you need? So we only need six rounds. I didn't say we only needed six okay. rounds. That's not what I said. You're okay. putting words in my mouth. Well, that's no, that's what you, you didn't say. That's what you said. You said only six rounds. So obviously, that's what you're saying. This is not putting any words in your mouth. You said six rounds. How many times? What, twice, two, three times? I have to go back and count that. Let's, matter of fact, let me back this up, and let's see how many times he said six rounds here. Let's see if I can catch it here. Eleven. You can do any kind of damage with, with, with six rounds. Yeah, hold well, on, let's see, let's see. Mass damage in schools and mass damage to people in, in any other kind of war. Can you not do that with, let's say, a handgun, a Glock, a 1911? You can do any kind of damage with, with, with six rounds. That's why you only need six rounds. Why do you need... So we only need six rounds. I didn't say we only needed six okay. rounds. That's not what I said. You're okay. putting words in my mouth. Well, that's why I was asking. Yeah. I'm not yeah, trying to put words in my mouth. That's why I, I clarified with you. I'm not saying, yeah. this guy said this. I'm, I'm clarifying, so mm -hmm. we're not fake news here. I didn't say that. Do you think that there should be only six rounds, or what's the limit for you? I didn't say anything about a limit. All I'm saying is, is that... Asked. yeah. You just said we don't need anything more than six rounds. You just said that. Look at my flicker right there. I have no idea why. Uh, yeah, specifically because we don't necessarily need anything more than six rounds for a for personal use. If you want to go hunting, go hunting. Okay. But you know, for weapons of war, like right. an AR-15 or you know anything bigger than that, specifically speaking, I don't think you need. I don't think you need anything like that for sport. Okay. What about self-defense? I mean, don't you think one would do it? My God, the foolishness. The foolishness coming out of this dude, as far as the talking points, man, is it's mind-numbing. 
yet individuals like this vote. One round? One yeah, don't you think one round would do it? For self-defense? Yeah. You better be a good shot. Well, okay. You better, better be, a, be damn a damn good exactly. shot for only one bullet and a gun. I mean, are, are, is more than one person going to rob your house? Absolutely. Yeah. That okay. tends most, to happen, yeah. Most times uh, getting does. mugged by gangs even, walking around downtown Cleveland. It's not a very safe area. I would want several rounds in my firearm. Um, so, so you yeah. Think, you think more than one person is going to mug you at any given time? I think that is yeah, a possibility, absolutely. yes. Well, so is lightning striking right now, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Okay, it's a foolish comparison right there. So is lightning striking, but it's not going to happen. Dude, you've got more chance of being robbed by multiple people than you do being struck by lightning, you idiot. Okay? This is what I'm talking about, man. She's asking him basic questions, very simple basic questions, and this there is no logic going on in this dude's head at all whatsoever. He is purely on talking points that he has heard on the media flat out. He has no clue what the hell he's talking about at all. It gets better, though. Keep listening. Okay. But we should be prepared. I mean, do you have a fire extinguisher in your home? Of course. The likelihood of you causing a fire is very low, isn't it? Not necessarily. Hmm. Wait, you that damn clumsy? You really, you that clumsy? You scared enough you're going to burn your damn house down? Okay. Hmm? But why would you have that? You know, it's not likely that you're going to catch your... Do you know how to use an oven? Equating trying to put out a fire a fire in my house to somebody breaking in my house and me shooting them is not the same. That's getting right, I think the policy, the, 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 right, the, same the premise is the same, is that you don't want more than one round in a bullet and in a firearm because you don't think the likelihood of more than one person robbing me is, you know, it's, it's not there. You only need one. So what happens when I shoot someone that's trying to me and it misses and I only had that one chance to prevent myself from being or killed by somebody that is stronger than me is bigger than me he's about to hurt me I only have one round what if I miss am I just out of luck that's you're you're adding two plus two and getting potato no dude no no she's asking you a very simple question and you can't answer because right now you look like a fool okay you look like an absolute idiot and she just laid it out very, very simple. Okay. So now you don't have anything to rebut. You don't have anything to say. You're trying to cover your ass and it's not going to work. They're two, two completely separate issues. Banning AR-15s, okay. although not necessarily the right answer, okay. it's the idea that we don't necessarily need access for everybody to have those things. Well, we don't so hold on, partner. This is what you think the necessary to have, for everyone to have access to it. Okay, this is like, once again, this dude does not understand the Second Amendment. Okay, what he's looking for is saying that we don't need AR-15s. Basically saying is, when you break it down, law-abiding citizens is what individuals like this, it doesn't roll through his head saying that, you know, criminals will still have access to them. But he keeps saying we don't need them. You're not going to eradicate them from this planet. They'll forever be around and be in circulation. There's more of them being made every single day. So what you're talking about is we. I don't know about this we. I'm not part of your we. All right? It's almost like coming and telling somebody, hey, you don't need that many knives in your kitchen. We got all them knives. Well, you only need one, right? We don't have that currently. Not everybody has access well, and to I, that by the federal government, right. by state governments. Mm -hmm. uh, black market, yes, because gun control has shown not to work. Mm -hmm. So Never people do have access to that that shouldn't. Um, do you do you think it's okay to ban someone else's property with the use of an executive action by the force of the government? Because when they ban that, mm -hmm. who's going to come to your door and make sure you don't have those? Government officials, police with guns, mm -hmm. guns that we aren't allowed to have as civilians. How do we give that force and that, that power to the government to come and do that to us as private citizens? How is that okay? How do you stand for that? Nobody's specifically saying that anybody's going to come to your house and take guns. That's not what we're after. All we're asking for is safe ownership by professionals or by people who are trained and know how to use these. People that know how to lock them up. Banning them specifically to people like myself, who I have no professional training with, with firearms. Right, and it shows because you have no clue what the hell you're talking about. I should not be allowed to own that kind of weapon of war because I don't know how to use it. Okay, that is very, very foolish. Just because you don't have training of a said firearm, you are basically giving up your Second Amendment right, okay? Just because you said, I don't have training, so I'm going to give up my Second Amendment right to own such weapon. 
So I'm going to be outgunned by somebody else who has no training else. But guess what? They have said weapon. All right. Does that make any damn sense to you? This, oh, my God. Oh, these people, man. These people, this is every day. Every day. This is the mindset of what they think. They honestly think that they could never be in a situation where if they had to defend themselves, if they had to defend their home, somebody breaking into their home with said weapon that he said that we don't need access to, guess what? The criminal's got access to it. He's got one pointed at you. Okay. Now what do you do? You don't have yours. What do you do? You just take that bullet, huh? Jesus Christ. You keep saying weapon of war. What uh, standard and what characteristics of a firearm has to be there to be a weapon of war? Again, weapons that can be used to cause significant amounts of damage in very short amount of time. So cars. You're, again, two plus two is not potato. Cars kill more people than firearms every year. Are they every weapons of war? That's that, again. That's, I'm pretty not, sure no, people of a certain religion like to run people over with cars. <laughs> I would I, listen. You're generalizing people. <laughs> it's not generalizing people, man. Your argument is foolish. She just laid it out. She's like, well, cars, and it's true. More people would kill or die by cars every single year than said weapon that he's talking about, a weapon of war, okay? Do you realize that weapon of war, which is not, an AR-15 is not a weapon of war. It is not, all right? That weapon there is accounted for less than 1% out of the 4% of long guns that are used, like shotguns, rifles, anything. AR-15s account for just about 1% of that 4% of all firearm deaths that are caused every single year. This is, like I said, this man knows nothing about this. He's just spewing talking points. Just a talking point parrot. That's all he is. And that's absolutely You're incorrect. generalizing gun owners, I would say. I, no, I said responsible gun ownership. I, I said specifically that I shouldn't have. I'm not I'm not generalizing anything. You're just sitting here generalizing oh, people and oh, trying to put did. words in my mouth. Okay. Oh, because you think I'm going to answer a certain way. I'm not answering that. No, you did. And you I think we got not. really good content. So thank you so much. Check us out at libertyhangout.org. Do you guys support free speech? Absolutely. All right. One, one for one, one, one I guess. Thank one you guys so much. I appreciate it. There you go. Yay. Yeah, like I said, man. Oh, my God. It's amazing. It is amazing. Listen to these gun-grabbing idiots, man. It's not even just gun-grabbing. It's just people who are just totally ignorant about the Second Amendment. This is all day, every single day for how many years? And the more that they keep listening to state media, <laughs> the more they keep listening to just flat-out utter lies about said weapon. They learn nothing. And they sit in the echo chamber and listen to it for the next one. Then they go to the next channel and then it talks the same thing. And then the next one says the same thing and the next one. So then this is the, how people get programmed and brainwashed into crap that they know nothing about. Yet he could pull it up on his phone and start learning some things about this. But no, now you just take it for face value. Just like he hears, uh, sees a headline or a quick uh, news flash or something like that or shooting this and that. And then they go, you got a politician that comes out right behind him, uh, right behind said incident or whatever. And they go, see, this is the reason why we need to ban AR-15s. For what? For what? There's no reason to ban said weapon, but the government keeps pushing that. Why? Like I've always said for years, and anybody knows this, the government wants that inch. <clears throat> they want that inch. That's all they want is just that inch. Because once they get that inch, starting with said weapon to ban, they will stretch it 50 miles from there. They just want that inch. Don't give them that inch, ever. Don't ever give them that inch. That's how I see it. Anyway, guys, educate some people out here on this stuff, man. Weapons of war, AR doesn't stand for it. It doesn't stand for assault rifle, okay? That's not what AR stands for. So make sure you educate people on that. And if you don't know what AR stands for, it stands for Armalite Rifle the company that created the modern sporting rifle that you see, the AR-15. I, I had a video I did a long time ago. Check on my channel. Here, go down my list in there. I might have to do another one, get a refresher video. And now that I finally rebuilt my setup here, my computer setup, finally. Ooh, 
It's a struggle, man, with that old PC I had. So now that I got it, man, I'm definitely putting it to the test here. But like I said, get educated on this thing. Get educated on the Second Amendment. As I said before, I'm going to keep Second Amendment content right here on this channel alone. Now, check out my other channel, my personal channel, It's Bishop. Go to It's Bishop on YouTube. That's my other channel, which I do reaction videos and talk about other things away from anything that is Second Amendment related. I keep Second Amendment and gun related stuff in general right here at Tactical POV. So come over here and check me out over here on this channel. When something comes up, if I can get a chance to grab something here or something that new comes up or anything, guys, I will post Second Amendment stuff here. Everything else, don't forget to check out my code, Tactical POV for Iron Infidel. Battle bottle, dude, it works. I have it. Both sizes, 64 to 32 ounce. I got them both. I use them every day. Promise you I do. Also, check out my store, tacticalpovstore.com. Go over there, check out my merch. You can see everything over there, guys, all I got. And um, that's about all I got on this video, man. This is uh, yet again another uh, another mind-numbing video, man, coming from an individual who, once again, they just spew talking points and know nothing about what they're saying. So anyway, guys, if you like it, don't forget to like, share, comment. You know, thumbs up the whole nine helps my algorithm do it. I promise you I will try to get more channel, get more content over here as fast as I can. All right. But until then, guys, you are responsible for your own safety.